So I'm going to be real honest. Uh, video 2 of today was supposed to be the first part of a, uh, a new series with puzzle hunts and stuff. But nobody wants to help me, and I don't want to do it by myself, because there are some puzzles that I've even cheated and looked at the answers, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Specifically, a Puzzle Hunt CMU's, uh, got, it wasn't the Anomaly one. Oh, it might have been an Anomaly. It was, uh, like, Alien Languages, and it's just a grid with triangles, and it's supposed to be teaching you how to do addition and subtraction with, like, a base 6 format, but it literally just looks like a shit ton of triangles. And even looking at the solution, I'm like, I understand how the counting works. I have no idea how anything else works. But that being said, PlayStation, I get, the first fucking Nintendo wants to put something out. No, no, PlayStation doesn't. All I see is the word Tana. My brain goes, you mean the girl from Crash 1 who hasn't appeared since? Except for, like, CTR and everything? You mean that? That, that Tana? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh my god, that fucking crash outfit is so stupid. God, that co- Dude, I am so excited for this fucking game. I am so fucking excited for Crash 4. And, and like, fuck me. I'm just gonna play the entire game as Tana. I mean, as Coco. I'm gonna play the entire fucking game as Coco, I swear to fucking god. Holy shit! What the fuck did you do to her? You're not from our universe. Ultimate Tana? It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. Oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Did they die? <laughs> what, did we like die or something? What? No. Nope. No. No. Definitely not. So how are things in your universe? Oh my god, they died. I love Coco. I love Coco. Huh. So, I love Coco. I love Coco. I love Coco. Crystals. Gems. Masks. Ooh, Hats. Fun. Well, good luck with that. We knew that the original Crash 4 had masks, so we're going to bring masks in, but we're going to make them not stupid is what we're doing, which I am so excited for. Do Wrath of Cortex, I rented it. It's such a... game... So hold on. So now we have a game where it's Crash, Coco, Cortex, Dingo Dial, and Tana, and they're all playable. Cortex has his own type of levels. Dingo Dial has his own type of levels. Oh god, Tana's gameplay is going to be completely different from all of them. Dude, are they just going to add, like, a shit ton of characters and be like, they all play differently? Ooh, that might not be good. Like, we're all excited for Crash 4, but I think the problem is going to be that they're going to, again, kind of like Wrath of Cortex and stuff, they're going to spread themselves too thin and try to do too much shit. But we'll, we'll see. Did Coco know Tana? If only the first three games count, then oh my Welcome god, she kicks. To another episode of PlayStation Underground. You got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. And Wait. We're so to be joined by Lou Stutter, buddy, to another episode. Time trials are back. Oh shit. PlayStation Underground. You got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. And she's and got. So excited to be joined by Lou Stutter. Um, producer, slam punches. She's got a fucking grappling hook. Time and Mandy Beninov, a writer on the game. Oh, she's got dive kick. A look at Crash Bandicoot Four. Yeah, glad to be she doesn't have the fucking counter for the the Wampa fruit either. So she doesn't get gems. She's got a gun. So, uh, today we're super excited to be on PlayStation Underground, revealing uh, kind of our last playable character. This is Tana. Oh, you seriously? This is the last one. I would have had Engine playable or something. He's got to be a boss, son. Engine better be the best fucking boss battle in that game because goddamn, he's the best fucking boss battle in three. Okay. Awesome. She's got a new style. 
it's exciting to she, see her like in this this version. It's so weird. Like if you haven't noticed yet, the box counter hasn't shown up. The wampa counter, which is new to this game, hasn't shown up yet. Except for the time trial clock, she might not have any collectibles. Yeah, no, she's. Uh, you know, it was really exciting for us to kind of. That's gonna be interesting. If she has uh, nothing. Okay, so this is actually, as you saw in the, the cinematic at the start here, this is. Tom also, this level reminds me of an area in um, so this is Prince of Persia 2010. No, 2008. Sorry. No, when did the fucking Soul Shade Prince of Persia come out? Yeah. The good <laughs> Prince of Persia. Yeah, this is great, and she's got, she's got a wall you know, kick. It's kind of really cool seeing all the different playable characters for Crash Four. Is you know, Crash and Coco have a, a very got the death counter style for you know Crash Bandicoot, but then you have you know. Cortex, so this is on the new system. It's not on the, the live system that it used to be. She's also missing that gem that's right there. So what what sets Tana apart, you know, gameplay wise that we're seeing here? Yeah, so Tana's kind of all about being like an action hero. Yeah, she looks like it. And so she for her, awesome. she's actually got a couple of really unique maneuvers that can change her gameplay uh, when compared to... She Crash still gets Aka Aka masks. Uh, okay, if she's from an alternate timeline, an alternate dimension, her Aku Aku mask should look different. I know that it's supposed to be like Aku Aku trapped in crates from this dimension, but it should still be her Aku Aku. she has uh, what we call her hook shot. It's kind of a grappling hook that allows her... Uh, to traverse the level uh, really speedily, and then you can also see she's the only character that can wall jump, mm. uh, which is amazing. So for her, it's all about kind of quick traversal and oh, we got our fucking oh oh she's got fucking the insane levels yeah, too, the inverted. From, um, a rope swing Hell yeah! A shot, uh, to a rail grind, to a wall jump, she's all about being fast, and nimble uh, in ways that the other characters aren't. I love yeah. her design too, like just like Dude, the she... leg warmers and the hair. <laughs> like it's very like eighties action. It's hair. it's very like eight uh, late eighties, yeah, early nineties uh yoga instructor and design her, and I love it. She's still got a double jump coaches, like the others. She's kind of found, you know, her own personal style and way Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go yeah. back real quick. It, I wanna see I wanna see the radius of that kick again. Okay. I was wondering because the inverted levels are supposed to be like completely different and stuff. I see her do the kick and my brain's going can the the paint splash affect her enemies? Her own personal style and way forward. But it doesn't seem like it, which is yeah. kind of and, and so awful. We're seeing the color splash out of her here. Um, what's going on there? That's the inverted. Yeah, so this is actually a look at uh, one of our, our newly revealed modes called inverted mode. And so it's our kind of so up fucking take excited about this game. It's gonna be so, so fucking good. Is kind of an inverted level layout, uh, but then also each of the dimensions has their own new and unique kind of art style and uh, experience. And so this one that we're showing. I love that inverted today, mode is mirror like mode, but uh, actually with something white, else. I love that idea. Okay, very cool. Gotta watch out for those sharks. Yeah, like, it's not like, just you know, a mirror mode, mode. there is something play, going on, low gravity, the color familiar, thing, familiar all of it. I love it, I... God, this game... God, this game is gonna be uh, fucking amazing. Like revisiting a character like, like, you know, Tana, who's familiar, but this is a different take, and, you know, she's been kind of out of the picture for a little while, you know, what was it like bringing her back uh, in this new way? Uh, it was really cool. I mean, oh, that looked amazing. Nice thing about doing okay, wait. If if, if this is a different kind of Tana, does that mean so and Crash and Coco on her world are potentially dead? Is Tana like, in this world really potentially dead? Who she was and what her place in the story was. Sorry, I just I love this recycle bin. Yeah. <laughs> God, this that that is such a good death. All the different death animations in Crash have yeah, always been great, but a recycle <laughs> bot's pretty good. <laughs> oh man. I want to see what that death looks like. With the different characters being playable, sort of how does it work for, you know, you pick up the game and... Not as because I was hoping it, it would be. Like I was kind of hoping because it looks like a bounce pad that would be like a Claymore. 
stages, or can you go back to the same levels as a different character? Kind of, how does it work? Um, Ooh, when folks are going to be playing. Again? That's actually a really good sure. question. Let, let them ask it again. Um, is is with uh, the different characters being playable? So how does it work for you know you pick up the game and and you start playing? Is it a, like a linear progression of stages and? And you'll play different characters for different stages, or can you go back to the same levels as a different character? Kind of how? Do I'm thinking the answer is going to be something like, um, it will be like a linear game. I mean, it's they've already confirmed it's more of a map system, so it's more Crash One than Crash Two and Three with the hub areas. But my guess is that you do the level initially as Crash slash Coco, and then I'll unlock the alternate modes of it, kind of like um. Donkey Kong Country Returns, where you do the level once and then you unlock its harder format and its mirror mode and all that type of good shit, Work, uh, which I'm okay with. I'm so, fucking, God, I'm so fucking excited sure, for this game. Uh, the, the main adventure is a linear Go that series way. of stages. We've kind of taken our cue from uh, Crash Bandicoot One, and we've got what we Ooh. call the dimensional map, which is kind of this overview of the levels, and that allows us to introduce new mechanics and new, mecha new characters along the way. Now, the three uh, additional playable characters, Tana, Cortex, and Dingo Dial, will be introduced with their own main level story uh, to get you up to speed on how they play, what their movesets are, so we can kind of train you in how to play them and introduce their storylines. Kick off but the from TV. That point on, uh, they actually are... It would have been amazing if she had broken the TV as she did the, the wall kick. ...in these optional levels that we call timelines. So these timelines are these really fun levels where half of the level is playing as uh, these unique characters in their own level section. Mm -hmm. And then you see how their story uh, interacts with Crash and Coco. So Tawn is a major character. So Dingo like Dial is a like major character. Yes, exactly. And and so it was kind of fun is, you know, when we were working on this and, you know, when Mandy was doing uh, the, the writing and figuring out how we wanted to do this, we kind of joked, you know, of each of these different characters have their own way of interacting, where Cortex being, you know, a liquefy enemy is stuff. stuff. Hinder Crash and Coco, uh, Dingo Dial is just kind of an accidental uh, <laughs> tourist in all of this, and so he's mostly he just, wants his diner. just kind of causing havoc unknowingly, but then Tana is all about almost being kind of like a guardian angel on the sidelines. Oh, that sounds so good. She's looking out for him. That's She's that's always awesome. been the damsel, and now she gets to be the helper. It's kind of an interesting contrast to, to Cortex, who's kind of causing destruction that might hinder the progress of, you know... Crash and Coco and no, I'm glad to get the credit to you, idiot. You know, the Damn it. About too is from a gameplay and sort of narrative perspective, like, Tana's, you know, um, her abilities to, like, you know, everything from her animations, you know, whereas Crash might have sort of like a belly flop or something like that. She has this really, like, intentional ground pound, you know. What is her, she knows what she's doing, because she's been doing it for, like, a while. As, um, Here we go, the slow motion Crash gravity Crash. underwater sure. one. Mandy, do you want to speak to that? Sure. So even other characters the have their normal levels and their inverted you really levels. See, but just the fact that she's an experienced, capable adventurer, um, this really isn't her first rodeo, and so I think this that really shows through her animations and her moveset and all that stuff. Yeah. This underwater level is just I love I love how it like she's kind of slowed down and has to move a little bit more agilely, I guess. Yeah. Is that another inverted uh, level? It is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is actually the inverted version of this future dimension, and so... So, real quick, um... If this continues, if they continue to make new Crash games, like Crash 5 and everything, with this type of style and stuff, and expand on this... Holy shit, Crash is back in good hands. Oh my god. I I have chills right now. Just the idea that Crash is back. It totally changes the way that the, the level feels. It really does, yeah. I, am, I love that because it really just adds to the Oh, God, this feels so good to even just looking at it. It feels it amazing. Style, like, yes, it's a Crash game. game. We've yeah. crashed yeah, back. It's, it's really fun because what we found is playing... We have Tony Hawk back, like, in the past slurry. week. And so you end up Holy like, crap. You actually see, you know, especially now that we have this death count, 
skill grow just by kind of re replaying it and knowing the challenges. And so we wanted to create a mode that completely messed with that. <laughs> yeah. And completely oh, you missed it. You gotta kill yourself. No, go back. You gotta, you gotta death abuse. You missed the crate. They bring back deathless gems. I'm gonna be yeah. And, and growing up with like side scrolling platformers from like the 8 and 16 bit era, like yes, go, go. wall jumping is it can be so liberating and, and requires such you know precision and skill, so it's it's fun to see that. I'm so excited and, the know, time trials game. are back. Uh, also, it's fun to see uh, you know enemies stack on top of each other to try to take you out. With, oh god, uh, the, the Cortex um, speed so yeah, runs are gonna be amazing, uh, just liquefying yeah, so enemies, the, like jellifying them and everything as fast as you possibly can. It's going to be insane how they pull that off. I'm loving her pirate costume. But yeah, that's costume actually the other thing that we uh, recently unveiled is that um, you can actually find uh, gems in levels and can earn gems. And these gems are used level by level to unlock additional skins for the game. And so this is something that's, Nobody's you know, going to play base uh, character. Purchase, it's purely, is you know, she... Uh, did it home in on an en another enemy? The ones that are, are fun because they're themed to the world that you're in. And so uh, we started the video taking a look at Tana in kind of a, a pirate-themed dimension level. Uh, and here we've got Coco doing uh, some similar exploration, but in a different level and wearing her awesome pirate outfit. I loved earlier when she I know they haven't shown it yet, but will Cortex have a mask system with the crates? Will he get Uka Uka? Just thought. I don't think they've shown that yet. <laughs> yeah. So satisfying. Yep. Uh, and yeah, in the interest of you know showing off the variety of crash. Which so I mean, saying they don't get all the crates. Uh, pre this is pre-recorded gameplay. We're not doing this live as we're talking. Uh, just because we did want to be able to kind of show a spin, bunch of jump, different uh, right, you know, uh, examples of black, gameplay all at once. Spin, but I, I right, love black, this world, um, spin, and the pirate theme. Um, and I, I did you can go down. A little bit of and, try these and you actually just saw the, the level, so it's going to go back to the beginning area, and then you're going to do the level. Holy shit. Oh, that looked terrifying. I love this, like, kind of cyberpunk, punky look. I'm so okay with that thought process. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Yep. <laughs> Anything to make me feel alive, you know, this is, this is what I could use. Um, I love this. So this is this, uh, the same sort of themed stage that we were looking at with, with Tana underwater, but this is just a... Uh, I saw that fucking crate one, mist. Right? Good lord. Uh, yes. Well, that's so, a slow yeah, so one. This is, this is uh, what we call the snacks dimension. Okay. Uh, oh. Because this is... Are there going to be fucking gems of... Doing the level without using the mask once. Holy shit, is there going to be an achievement for, like, doing an entire level without mask? These are, these are the questions that go through my mind as a game designer. Can you do it? This is the, the neon city, and uh, there are food trucks throughout. Um, and it's actually, what we wanted to do was make a, a future... I'm looking at this, and I just now want to go out into the living room and to watch, um... I want to watch the fifth element, just for the, the, uh... The food truck that goes outside of his apartment. That's great, and, and we're also, um... You know, seeing some of the uh, the quantum mass gameplay here too, so um, that will, will change. Oh, it's the, multiple on each level. You know, different elements of the game. I thought it was only going to be one mask time, per level, so now they're showing off that there's actually a mask, so, multiple we'll masks in the same level. All right, so we're just about out of time. Lou, Mandy, thank you so much for joining us on PlayStation Underground. Oh my God, the final boss has to incorporate all the masks. That's not even a question. The last battle of the game has to have all four masks somehow be shown off. And I'm realizing that they still haven't shown off the fourth mask. We know there's anti-gravity, um, the phase shift, slow down time, but they're not showing the fourth mask. That is such an odd little concept. 
do it. Look at her. She is such a fucking yoga instructor. I'm not sure about the hair, but the rest of the outfit is just fucking spot on. It would make sense if she's from an alternate dimension. Do you think this Tana and this Crash are gonna end up together by the end of the game? Oh god, I am so excited. She's totally dead. Or they're totally dead. Dude. I don't like when Coco like closes her eyes like that. But then you get like that shot and my brain goes, yes, that is Coco. I love Coco. Oh my god. I am so... This game is gonna be fucking fantastic. It's not even a question. And I love Crush's design. And, like his little short hair and everything. I love how cartoony this game looks. I'm so fucking excited for this game. It's not even funny. Like, no joke. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to play it for like a year, but this is my game of the year at this point. It doesn't matter. I don't care what else comes out. Just from design. This might be my game of the year. This or No Straight Roads, but that's also because everybody knows Straight Roads looks fantastic. The diverse character design is amazing. Like, Mayday's amazing. Ten Ten are amazing. Seiyu is fucking adorable, and you can't tell me otherwise. But yeah, dude, Crash 4. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. I'm the Last Play Princess signing off. Peace and love to you all. There's a Patreon link in the description below and all that fun stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. But, dude, Crash 4. It's real. It's happening. It's, like, in a month. It's in less than a month. Fuck. Are they even gonna show off the fucking little masks, dude? That's the big question.